Windows Server 2019 System Administration. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. In our previous series, if you remember, we are talking about FISMO rules and we have also seen the importance and what are the meaning of all these five FISMO rules that we find in a first global catalog server wherever we promote any server operating system into a domain controller. So over here uh, in our last time, the previous videos, if you have missed, please go through that because over here, today's session will, will be the practical implementation of that theoretical portion of our previous video now. So if you have a look over here, in every domain controller, wherever you promote as a first domain controller, that will be treated as a first global catalog server in your network environment. So this global catalog server is actually simply a FISMO rules over here that we have already discussed clearly. Now, if you have a you know quick revision, what we did last time, just a, uh, it's a quick glance over here. These are the two rules, rules that we find forest wide. And over here, these are the three FISMO rules that we find domain wide. Now, today we are going to learn the process of migrating your or transferring your FISMO rules from one domain to the next domain controller. So they might write some questions uh, like saying, why do I have to transfer? So the question is valid. So let's understand these things in detail. We might, might come across certain circumstances that when we are in the mood of transferring or let's say migrating your FISMO roles, that might be your necessity. Okay, let's say the migration of your FISMO roles, it might be done when your server operating system itself we are going to upgrade. That means from the server 2016, if you are planning to upgrade your this operating system including the domain controller in that case you might be planning to migrate okay and the second reason that we might find or that we might consider in order to transfer this FISMO role that might be the patching okay for the patching also you might be doing that and the third reason that we find the most commonly used valid reason it might be for the maintenance purpose as well so these are the three valid reasons actually that compel us to learn in order to transfer the FISMO roles in our domain controller from the one server to the next server. Now for the practical implementation of this FISMO roles transfer in our network environment, I am going to use first my domain controller over here because I want to show you where are my FISMO roles. So as we have already seen last time, the FISMO roles can be seen with the help of your command. As I said last time, you know, I am in a habit of going to the root all the time. So we'll see this all from the root. So the command that if you remember in our previous video, we have typed the command to see your FISMO roles where it reside is a net dom query FSMO. Now, if you notice over here, it's my primary domain controller. All the five roles of this FISMO, it contains only in this first domain. Okay. But at the same time, I do have my additional domain actually that I have made for some other purpose if I go to my additional domain and I want to hit the same command so let's see what will happen if I go to my additional domain controller and I'd like to make sure that where this FISMO roles reside actually okay so let's go to root and right over here it will give you the same information okay it will tell you that your FISMO roles are in this DC that means the first domain controller this is the computer not this one where I'm writing this command because this one is ADC. You see over here, it's an ADC and my one is a DC. That means where this FISMO role contains actually. If I see it over here, host name, see, ADC is my host name. That means ADC does not contain any of the roles from the FISMO role. So now we are going to learn the process of transferring your FISMO role from the primary domain controller to any other domain or any other server in your network infrastructure so for that we will have to go through certain commands of course we do have option to transfer your FISMO role via command this graphical user interface as well but trust me guys when we start working as a system administrator it or it might be as a system engineer we prefer to go through the CUI rather than a GUI because it takes time you, you'll have to go from one menu one screen to next screen So rather than using that I also do pre prefer to transfer or do any kind of administrative work using your CUI only So let's start the command for transferring the your FISMO role from one server to the next server So right now I'm in my current domain controller if I have to show you see it's a DC that is a first server primary domain controller okay 
Now the command is this NTDS util. Okay, now write rules. Now it listed, it, it says now we have entered to the area of Fismo maintenance. Now, what do you want to do? I want to go to the connection. Connections, sorry. C O N N E C T I O N S. Okay, connections. Now, what do you want to do? Where do you want to get yourself connected in order to transfer the Fismo rule? That means now after writing these connections, it's asking you where do you want to transfer the Fismo rule from the server? Okay, so what I'm going to write over here connect to server and write it down the name of that server where you would like to transfer the Fismo role. In my case, I have got another one server that's an additional domain control over here. See, if I have to show you over, uh, again over here, if I do over here ping adc.viatech.com, see, it's going to respond. Okay, that means I'm going to transfer this one in ADC. So this one is the fully qualified domain name. So in that case, the area or the place where I was writing a command in order to transfer this FISMO role, I'll have to write the name of that server. That means connect to server and write the fully qualified domain name. That is adc.viatech.com. Now it has successfully connected to that server. Okay, now after that, I will simply want to quit and I would like to make sure which are the rules that I can transfer from the primary domain controller to this server where I have currently connected. That means in an ADC. You see, you can transfer infrastructure master role, transfer naming master role, transfer PDC, read master, transfer schema master. That means all of these roles can be transferred now into your additional domain controller. That means to your targeted server. So over here now we are going to transfer that means we are going to start uh, writing a command to transfer your FISMO role one by one. Okay, so let's start transfer schema master. You see over here transfer. See it's not mandatory that you start from the bottom, bottom or you start from the top anywhere any role that you would like to transfer that can be done so right now i am going to transfer from the uh, main primary domain controller to my addition domain controller which role schema master role it takes time now it's it's asking you are you sure you want the role of schema master transferred to the server adc.biotech.com this my this is my additional domain controller it's giving you some sort of warning or it might be some sort of informative also because see transferring any of this schema role might be complicated sometime okay but right now we are in a lab environment and we intend to transfer we intend to learn the process of transferring any of this uh, schema roles from the one server to the next server so that's why we are going to click yes might take few seconds now it's done see here so Fismo maintenance transfer schema master it is done see it's been transferred successfully now we do have other roles as well to transfer so what i'm going to write over here transfer let's start from the bottom no problem okay read master i would like to transfer the read master also it's asking you the same thing are you sure obviously we'd like to transfer it okay that is also done now next one we transfer two FISMO roles okay first one was the schema master second one was the read master now we'd like to transfer the pdc transfer pdc are you sure you'd like to transfer this are you sure you want the domain role of primary domain controller transferred to the server obviously i would like to do that okay now next one that means two more naming master that was a pdc emulator is also done now the naming master so i'm going to write transfer naming master role as well I would you like to go for it obviously yes now the last one what we have over here is infrastructure master okay so let's write that infrastructure master would you like to go for it obviously now you see entire FISMO roles are now transferred from the primary domain controller to my additional domain 
controller. The reason might be anything. That means the reason that we have discussed last time. It can be any reason over here. It might be you are trying to migrate the operating system from server 2016 to the 19, or it might be you are trying for this patching, or it might be sometime, you know, as for your need in your network environment, you might be going under the maintenance in that case also for a few hours, for a few minutes, okay, or, or it might be in some cases for a few days you are going to maintain your server so that's why you'd like to transfer all, the, all these roles to the other server so that your work goes on okay so now i'm gonna quit from here quit now if i hit a command it should show adc not c successfully done congratulations now see over here my all the fisbo master roles are being transferred to my additional domain controller but this information is not informative over here okay only in the primary domain controller even if i go to my additional domain controller it's going to give me the same information okay so see it's done so similarly if you like to reverse it again that means if you like to transfer it from the additional domain controller to your primary domain controller commands are same just the destination or the targeted server will be different so i hope this was the complete process and you have clearly understood the process of transferring your fismo role from one server to the next server okay having any valid reason in your network in five charts so i believe these steps uh, what i showed you were the easy going and you understood clearly so if you find this was quite informative and it was fruitful to you please do like and subscribe thank you